it's your friendly neighborhood girlfriend Liz and if you're new here then welcome and if you're not then welcome on back so today I just wanted to drop a quick video on transitioning from summer to fall and what to do with your hair care regimen so I don't know how other people are but I know for my hair my hair flourishes in the summertime it's able to dry quickly because I have low porosity hair so I can go outside and have my wash and go done and dried. My hair likes humectants, which is ingredients that pull moisture from the air. So during the summertime, that's really good. I tend to use a lot of gels so my hair can be defined because with the same heat, I can still get frizzy hair. So I need my hair to be tamed. So I use a lot of gels. Now compared to the winter, the winter the air is much harsher so you need to make sure that your hair is properly moisturized so that means make sure you're using water always use a leave-in i feel like fall winter fall is the time to use a lot of cream you can ditch gels if you want to or you can use gels all year round but remember a gel will dry your hair out so you want to think, do I want my hair dry? Do I want my hair moisturized? Like, what do I want to do with my hair? So make sure your hair is moisturized for sure. Bring those butters and creams out of your stash and use them for your hair. Another thing for the fall slash winter is protective styles. A lot of people protective style in the summer, but me personally, I like to do it in the winter because like I said, my hair flourishes in the summer, so I don't need my hair tucked away or anything. As you can see right now, I have a protective style in, and this is protective because my ends are put out the way. I moisturized my hair before I did this, so I don't have to worry about any rubbing. I don't have to worry about the elements as much because my hair is all tucked away and protected. So I feel like the winter is a great time for box braids, weaves, crochet, whatever type of protective style you wanna do or if you wanna do mini twists, mini braids, put that under a little bonnet and then you're good sis, like you're good and you're protected and your hair is moisturized. That's the biggest key for winter and fall. Make sure your hair is moisturized. Some of my favorite butters and creams are, hold on, let me go get them, okay, so I'm back. One of my recent favorite butters and creams that I've been using is the My Moisture Vanilla Bean Hair Butter. This is super moisturizing. I can use it as a leave-in or a styler. It's very creamy. Then I also have the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Now this is definitely creamy, it's not coming out. I love using this in the fall and the winter time for twist outs and braid outs because I don't really do too many wash and goes anymore. And my L's Twisting Souffle. This is also a very thick substance, very creamy and super moisturizing. So as you see, there's a little theme you want moisturizing products. The first ingredient should be like water, maybe shea butter, some type of oils, so you know that your hair will stay moisturized. A lot of people during these colder months also experience their scalp getting very dry and itchy. So I know um, As I Am has a line, a dry itchy scalp line. I've only used the leave-in, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. And that is a line specifically for people that get dandruff, whose scalp gets itchy. So you wanna make sure that you're taking care of your scalp also. We talk about our ends, but our scalp is just as important. Really, that's where the root of all your good hair, good healthy hair grows, is from your scalp. So you wanna make sure that it's clean. If it's itchy, get something for it. Um, peppermint oil, tea tree, I know those two oils are really good. For an itchy scalp brands now have lines catered directly to that if that is an issue so yeah another thing some people don't shampoo as much during the colder months i feel like it would be okay to start going in with co-washes instead of a shampoo so you're not completely stripping your hair of its oils or 
drying it out too much unless you have moisturizing shampoos which they do have clarifying and moisturizing shampoos so some people do switch to co-washes for their hair also but as it gets colder i'm definitely going to start reaching for more butters more creams more twist outs and more braid outs i just wanted to come up here very quickly and share some of those tips share what i'm going to be doing differently in my hair care regimen so yeah moisture protective styles and scalp care i want you guys to remember those three things and take that into this new season that we're coming into but i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video if you found it informative or entertaining then please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you made it all the way here sis and you not subscribed what's really going on go ahead hit that button it's free and while you're at it make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time i make a video make sure you follow me on instagram at curls with liz with three z's and leave a comment down below if you do anything differently in the fall and the winter or if you just keep the same routine okay hope you guys enjoy see you in my next one bye